So I've got two random numbers, but they're, they're not between 1 and 10. And that's because the mats.random function produces two numbers between 0 and 1, which, as I say, isn't what I wanted to produce. So I need to do some more work on that. So go back to here, edit on this one, go to the action, and it's producing a random number. And what I wanted to produce is an integer, in other words, a number which has got no decimal points after it. Well, that has the rather long, complicated name of parseInt, which just means produce an integer. So it just says take that and take away all of the decimal places on the end, which is good. That's what I want. So that's going to put another bracket on there. And the same thing on here, parse int, and put under the bracket on the end there. But if I do parse int, all of the numbers were below 0, or sorry, below 1. So if it takes, they're all naught point something. So if it takes all the decimal points off, every single number will be 0, which won't be a very interesting quiz. So to solve that problem, I need to make the numbers bigger, which would make them so 10 times So now they change from being naught point something, they're going to be some number point something, and that sounds good. And that will then give me numbers between naught and 9, which still isn't what I want. So I want 1 plus. which becomes quite a mouthful. Before we save and have a check, saying make a random number which will be less than 1, between 1 and 0. Multiply it by 10. That's going to give me numbers between 9 and 0. Okay? Because I'm going to make the integer of it, so instead of just being 1 and 0, it'll be 9 and 0. Add 1 to those numbers, and it makes it from 9 to 0 between 10 and and 1, which is what I want it to do. Click on Save. Click on here. And there's my two numbers, 5 and 2. Go back. And this time, because it's random, it should be producing different numbers. So 10 and 1, 8 and 6.